guys, Headphones Neil here, We're jumping in with a quick update on my recent comments about having issues with Caden Live and finding alternatives to it. So I did some further testing and I don't know what it is about the latest update that breaks um, how I do things. So you know when I use um, gameplay videos to do the long play mergings. Um, exporting um, files has taken a lot longer than usual. Um, even doing my usual podcast ep- exports for YouTube, the files are not compatible with YouTube. I can't even play them in um, the Windows um, Media Player, or VLC, or anything like that. It's really strange. So I have to see if there's a way to do a reset of the installation or profiles or something. But um, in the meantime, because this kind of started about a week or so ago when I was doing the long play um, video creation for um, my Do- one of my Doom gameplays, so I saw that open shot video editor was decent. I wasn't too big of a fan of the UI, even when I was first learning how to do video editing and I, was, I, and I started using Caden Live, but it's not nearly as bad or as... Um, difficult to use as I thought. It's a little bit weird with the timeline features, like um, adding the um, different f- uh, file formats to the timeline, but it's not nearly as, nearly more or less complicated than it is in Kden Live. So overall, um, I think I've got a good setup for it. So um, later this week, I'm expecting to release the um, first long play for my gameplay of Pirate Doom 1 for the first episode. So um, I'm u- doing it in the same way that I wanted to or in the way that I wanted to use the source, gameplay video files, export it, and upload it to YouTube. So um, because that worked before with my last gameplay video, it's more of just learning how to do stuff. So. I have been playing around with it a little bit with like individual files and I have been able to learn how to better fit my gameplay videos to the 16x9 format. The videos themselves are in a slightly more wider format so they're not going to be truly 16x9 but it's not going to be as noticeable as um, when it was in that gameplay that I did before. so it's kind of that was kind of weird that was super windowed i didn't realize that it didn't auto fit the videos to the screen it was just importing the as a best fit so um basically since then i learned how to do that so the purpose of this um podcast episode is to do some learning and testing and practice of um the video podcast creation that i put up on youtube where i'm using a cover image and a audio file, so a WAV, MP3, whatever. So in this case, a WAV file, overlaying it with an image and exporting it. So I did, haven't really tested that yet, but I do want to test it just to see how um, Open Shot Video Editor can work as an alternative t- for me to Caden Live. Um, I'm going to probably try and do some fade ins and outs. I think I did that in one of the videos I did before. So I'll try that again now um, just to make sure that I can make that work and all that. So this isn't anything super long or expansive, but basically I've been um, teaching myself more of open shot video editor. I think I've got enough practice down. I know how to import files. I know how to add them to the timeline, move them around a little bit, um, get to the properties to resize um, um, videos files when they're not fitting to the window. Um, I can add images and all that so now it's just a matter of doing the audio files so basically just practice 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 but um ui aside and i know that open shot has some themes but right now i'm just sitting with or working with the basic default theme just to practice actual functionality and um i don't know why i had trouble with it before i probably i don't it was kind of weird maybe i didn't know i could zoom in and out on the timeline to better fit stuff but now that i know i can do that as well um, I think I'm in a better spot now than I was about a week and a half ago. So 
um, maybe until there's a KDEN Live update to see if it, maybe there was just a weird bug in the latest update or maybe there's a weird change in how it functions and that's going to be a permanent thing. Um, for now, I'm going to say that maybe OpenShot is going to be the way to go. Um, and I'll see how it goes maybe over the next month or so. Maybe I'll make September my open shot um, test month and see if um, maybe I'll just I'll become used to it a concept to it. I'm gonna like it better um, and it's gonna work for me overall. Um, the one thing I will say that I like better uh, in OpenShot over KDEN Live is the progress bar when exporting. So whether I'm exporting a 4K video, um, 1080p, whatever, whatever bitrate, it does have a time countdown. So I do know that it does tell me how long it's going to take to export the video. So I know that it's, if it's going to take like... Um, one of the tests that I did, like it did tell me it's going to take about 10 minutes to export the video. Great. You know, I can go make a cup of coffee, come back or go make myself a sandwich and come back. And by that time it's done. Or if I'm going to do this over my lunch break, I know that it's, if it says it's going to hit me about 45 minutes, perfect. I'll go have lunch, come back or hour and a half. Okay. It's not going to be, it's going to take longer than my lunch break. So, you know, I know exactly how to plan out my time. With Kden Live, I kind of, it does have the timer countdown, I think, but um, it was getting kind of weird. Like, that's what, and that's my problem is that it was taking longer and longer, so I wasn't quite sure what was going on with it. I used usually would just let it export and go and come back, but just with how timing was, it would, um, um, like it was take that, that, that's my thing is that with Kden Live it was taking longer and longer so I don't know if it was having issues with my files if it was a software issue or whatever but with OpenShot so far with the latest version and maybe that's all it is is it's a version issue that OpenShot's latest version maybe fixes a bunch of bugs so when it says it's gonna take about an hour it takes exactly that hour it does have a little bit jumps here and there randomly with resource usage so if i start doing other stuff then it, if it says it's gonna take an hour and i start doing other stuff it'll jump up to like an hour 15 or something but um regardless um kden or open shot seems like it handles that stuff better kden i don't know it's kind of weird and maybe it's just one of those things where open shot is more to my speed. I'm not doing any fancy, super duper, um, you know, Hollywood level style, you know, video editing or merging or anything like that. So maybe open shot is the way to go for me. It's more feature, like right size features for what I need, you know, timelines, adding files, transitions and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe it just takes time getting used to it and it'll be the one to use going forward. But, um, I kind of want to put it, I kind of wanted to put this out so that I could practice merging my, um, a picture photo and a audio file for upload to YouTube, make sure it works, uh, see how long it takes to upload the file to, or try not upload, but export the file using open shot for something like this. I think I did it once before already, but I wanted to try it again one more time with a specific concerted effort of making sure I do that. So uh, just a quick side update for everybody that um, if you notice a little bit of a change in the, the video files up on the YouTube channel, with like maybe I forget to do the transitions or the um, videos look a little bit different. Maybe they look better in the export because how it's rendered or um, it's generally just working better or whatever, or even if you think it's worse, whatever, let me know in the comments, um, notably on the YouTube channel, but, um, now that Pocket Cast has, um, the ability, I guess, I think it has, oh, actually Pocket Cast has ratings, so comment on social media or up on the YouTube channel, let me know what you think, and, um, if you have solutions for KDN Live, I'd like to hear it, if, um, you think that OpenShot maybe is a better one just because of consistent performance and functionality, let me know. I'm open to either one. This is not, um, you know, I like one over the other. It's just Kden Live stopped working for me. So I'm now I'm using OpenShot and <coughs> I have both still installed. So I will still keep playing around with both. But for now, for me to, you know, get my stuff published, I'll be using OpenShot Video Editor. And I don't think it's any better or worse than KDN Live. I think they're both equally about 
on par with what I want them, want them to do. So I'm just putting this out there to let you guys know of that usage change. So um, usual stuff about the website is headphones, nail dot reviews. Uh, YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Patel N01. And um, I'll mention the Patreon, patreon.com slash Patel N01. I'm putting this out at the same time for everybody just because this is a, one of these weird one-offs, but um, it'll still be the usual, you know, ad-free version and all that. So um, everything will be cross-linked as always in the show notes. So um, yeah, l but like I said, give me some feedback. What do you think? Which one do you like better or worse? Is there something I'm messing up and doing wrong? Is there something I'm missing in the Kden live setup? Maybe ma I messed something up and I didn't realize it, but um, yeah, so for now, I think I've learned enough of OpenShot to do what I need to do. But that's all there is for this um, update. Thanks for tuning in and being a subscriber to the podcast. And until next time.